Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday. I am starting up a new vlog this week. I just went and got a coffee. I drove into town. I wanted to just like get out of the house and like get a coffee today. I spent the whole weekend at home. Mom and I hung out a lot. And then this morning I was just doing some work on the computer and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for a little drive. It's such a nice day out, but it is so hot. It's my second week here in Florida. So I'm here for the rest of this week and then half of next week. And then I'll go back to Nashville. And it's so crazy because football season is starting and I literally cannot believe that it's already about to be like I guess it's not really like fall yet because I think summer technically lasts until like middle of September if you guys know the exact end date of summer comment it below because I don't know when summer like officially ends but whenever football starts is when I consider it to be fall even though half the games are like 90 degrees still came into town got a coffee I got white chocolate syrup and it's actually so good it's a little bit milky for my liking but it's still really good the coffee shop's called The Joe in Port St. Joe if you guys ever drive through. I'm just gonna chill in my car for a little. There's a little store down here that I like to go into. It has really pretty home stuff and I think it opens at 10. So I'm kind of waiting for that to open. Wanted to go into there and I love just like a coffee car sit. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I love just like chilling in my car. I think something about just like being by myself in my car chilling is like just relaxing. I like always sit in my car and do this. I like eat in my car. I do all that in my car. So even though I'm in Dylan's truck, I'm like, I texted Dylan this morning and I was laughing. So I was like, I really love your truck. And he was like, why? And I was like, I just like being like, I like feeling high up and I like um, being in a really big car. And he was like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I want to drive your truck instead of my car now. I'm going to sit here, maybe like look at some emails on my phone, get away from the house for a little bit. I just got this little cute bag in the mail from the row and I'm so excited about it. I got it off of Forward and I'm obsessed with it. I love the brown color for fall. It's a little bit smaller than I expected, but I'm carrying it for the first time today and it makes me happy. I like love this. Why are you calling? <laughs> Do you want me to pick you up something? <laughs> yes, bro. What would you like? I don't know, maybe sausage. From where? McDonald's. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> okay, I will. I'll be a little bit, but I will get them for you. Okay, okay, okay. Call me. <laughs> wow, <Okay>. sorry, man. <laughs> hey, bye, Okay, love you. See ya. See ya. Ah, that's a blast. Let's put the jersey. We Cleveland stand. Cleveland. All right. Why Cleveland? Tess. My man. <laughs> Tool. I just got home. My mom is out on the beach, so I want to hurry and get my suit on and head out there, but I wanted to show you guys few little things that I picked up from the local Piggly Wiggly grocery store. I was so surprised when I saw that they had pressed. I love this one, the greens with ginger. I've never tried their strawberry orange mango, so I'm excited to have those. Juices are just like easy to have right when I wake up with like a water so I can take my medicine, um, just because sometimes when I wake up, I'm not super hungry, and so these have been helping. These are my absolute favorite. Dad and I pickled some stuff in the last vlog, as you guys saw, and we have not <laughs> perfected the recipe yet, so these are like my go-to, especially because you can throw these in the cooler for the beach. The carrots are so good. And then I got one of the hot pickle and then regular. I've been loving Olipop. I bring these down to the beach as well. The grape one is my favorite. I've never tried lemon lime and I've never tried the cream soda. So I'm excited to have these. These are nice to have when I'm not in the mood to drink water or I don't want alcohol or like soda or anything like that. So all of this will come to the beach. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. I was in town for a little bit. I went to that Joseph's cottage shop and I got a candle share it with you guys because it's so funny how scents remind you of like different phases or like different things in your life um when i went to this store for the first time like three or four summers ago when dylan and i moved into our apartment in raleigh this was a candle that i bought for that apartment and i smelt it in the store and i was like i have to get this it smells like our Raleigh apartment and I love the scent. It's a local um, soy candle shop here in Port St. Joe. And it says that the purchase supports and employs disabled women. So I love that. It's the scent, they call it St. Joseph. And it just smells so good. The brand is The Refinery. I'll try to find online and link it, but the smell of it just like reminds me of Raleigh. And so I had to pick up one of those for our place in Nashville. 
and a Revive candle. It comes with this really cute match. I need to get my nails done so bad, but my parents live in a small town, so like the closest nail salon where my mom goes, it's like 45 minute drive. So she made me an appointment for tomorrow night, so I'm gonna go tomorrow. But I really love the short nails for summer, but I need to fix the gel. It's like peeling up and getting stuck in my hair when I like wash my hair in the shower. All right, we just got out to the beach. There's literally no one out here. And it's so calm and so nice out today, except it's really hot. There's not a cloud in the sky. Fun day, so I think a lot of renters and people like that went home. So we're gonna sit out here for a little bit. Just get a few hours of some sun. I brought my sunscreen down here. I'm obsessed with this clear stem sunscreen. It's the You Are Sunshine, and it has SPF 50. Um, and I love it, so I'll make it for you guys. Next day, I just drove into town to get my nails done. It's actually like five o'clock. I didn't vlog all day. My mom and I sat by the pool. I got a little bit of sun and I slicked my hair back and ran to a nail appointment. There's not like a nail place near my parents. So I had to drive like 45 minutes to get my nails done. I got this really pretty light gray color. I'm really into short nails right now. Since I spent the day by the pool, I got no work done. So I'm gonna go home and sit on the computer, plant my butt on the computer for a few hours and get some stuff done that I've been kind of avoiding. So I picked up a coffee i got the chocolate cream cold brew which i've never tried and there's like literally i think maybe one piece of ice in here i should have asked for extra ice but it's actually really good i feel like i've had this but i can't remember so i feel like it's like my first time having it it reminded me to check my app upside which i've talked to you guys about before on my channel i use this app on my phone it's called upside and basically Everyone has to buy gas, groceries, all the necessities, and with inflation, things just keep getting higher and higher, especially gas and groceries. I swear it's like never ending with the prices going up, and Upside is really nice because you can get cash back on every purchase. My little secret is using the app Upside on like dining out, groceries, gas, all that stuff because you can get money back on every purchase. So what I do, let me screen record my phone so you guys can see. It pulls up the area that you're currently in so you guys can see I'm at this Starbucks right now, which gets 2% cash back. There's the raceway right there, which I need to fill up with gas on my way home. So I'm gonna stop at, probably stop at the Chevron because I like this one here better. Um, Dunkin' they have more gas. They have Applebee's, Raceway, just like a bunch of uh, places to eat out, gas, groceries, all that kind of stuff, like I was saying. I feel like I'm always like traveling, especially like road tripping. I'm always driving to different places. So I always check my app and I like see if there's, when I need to fill up for gas, if there's places that are offering cash back or if there's grocery stores or anything like that. So I'm always like checking it. I keep it on the front screen of my phone. So I wanted to tell you guys and encourage you guys all to download it. So to get started, all you do is download the free Upside app. If you guys use my code, Rachel, get you 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas so really if you're at an empty tank and you need to fill your whole car up use my code rachel that will save you like 10 bucks i don't know how big everyone's gas tank is <laughs> what i really like is it's like really simple i feel like there's a lot of apps out there that make things kind of complex when it comes to getting cash back or getting rewards or anything like that so with upside all you do is you pay with your credit or your debit card as normal if i was trying to relate it to something in comparison to like credit card um perks or like loyalty programs or anything like that you get three percent times more cash back with upside which is huge at any time you can cash out with your bank paypal they have e-gift cards a ton of different brands amazon all that good stuff also a lot of upside users are earning hundreds of dollars a year which is probably why the app has a 4.8 star rating simple and it's easy it's not like you have to go out of your way to do it and you're gonna fill your car up with gas anyways like you need gas you need groceries so you might as well just use upside and get some money back all the information below so you guys can download the app but again do not forget to use my code rachel gets you 25 cents back for every gallon of gas on your first tank so check them out thank you upside for sponsoring this portion of the video good morning <laughs> good morning you guys i just woke up we're gonna open up the blinds, take the dogs out because Rue is crying. It's a little bit cloudy today. Like it's been cloudy almost every morning, but we haven't gotten any rain yet. And we like desperately need rain, I feel like, because it is so hot here. I feel like it would cool it off maybe. Are you ready to go potty? Good morning, love. Good morning. Let's go. Come on, Rue. Why 
are you guys so cute? <laughs> I recently got these off of Amazon. I have already been through a whole box of them. This is my second time ordering them, but I got the XL size and they're just little uh, towels. They almost feel like paper towels, but a little bit nicer on your skin. And I use one of these every time I like touch or wash my face. I feel like it's helped a ton with not allowing like bad bacteria and like acne and all that spread around my face. Like I said, I got these off Amazon so I can link them below for you guys. Dermatologist approved disposable facial towels made from ultra soft premium visco. I'd say my skin is doing a lot better. I have one active breakout like on my forehead like between my eyebrows right now that is like literally so painful but other than that it's really just a bunch of acne scarring that I'm trying to get rid of. When I get home I actually have a micro needling appointment which I'm really excited about and I heard that that can really help um, with like reproducing collagen in the skin and helping with acne scarring. I don't use a moisturizer in the morning just because I put this tinted sunscreen on also from Clear Stuff and I feel like it's enough. I'm about to go on a beach walk anyway so it's not like my skin's dry when I'm out there. It's very humid and sweaty so I only do the moisturizer at night. Some of this lip. I wanted to update you guys from the last vlog this morning my mom got up and went to the cardiologist and she's getting a stress test done I think right now to her heart and then the results should be in by the end of this week it's currently Wednesday and then her surgery if all goes as planned with the stress test and the echo I think it's called um, she'll get to have the surgery next week I think it's next Wednesday so a week from today so I'm gonna stay I was gonna leave Florida next Tuesday because um, Dylan's first game is on Saturday, which is literally crazy, but I'm going to stay um, through her surgery. So I'll probably leave like Thursday now, um, get back just in time for Dylan's first game. So that's kind of the update with my mom. I'll keep you guys posted if we hear anything else. But again, thank you guys for the prayers and all that for her. She feels very blessed and thankful for all you guys to be like rooting for her. I had to run into town after I got back from my walk I could only walk for like 30 minutes on the beach it was so hot every time I think it's gonna rain the clouds go away and it's just like pure heat actually for the past like week and a half since I've been here Port St. Joe has been under like excessive heat warning it's been like so hot out here so I try to get exercise in but it's just kind of hard because it's just been so hot I need to like do a at-home workout like I need to do like a form or a p-valve or something I just didn't bring any equipment like I didn't even bring any weights with me which was honestly kind of dumb because it's just been so hot out and like normally when I'm here mom and I always like do bike rides and stuff but it's just been too hot to even be able to do that but I ran into town I had to go to the post office and ship off some samples to my manufacturer um, in LA so I had to go do that for fun project coming up um, just like back and forth with sampling and then I also came and got a coffee just because I was right here I got a vanilla latte today so yummy head home now I have that meeting at 3 it's currently noon I don't think I'm gonna do a beach or pool day today just because I'm gonna give myself a little rest from the Sun today um, I'm gonna go home I need to do some laundry things like that I have a few packages that I got that I want to show you guys that came in last night and then kind of just prep for my meeting it's so funny because I try to like vlog when I'm in town here and like vlog at the coffee shop and stuff there's certain places where I can vlog in public and not feel weird like if I'm in California New York even Nashville places like that then sometimes I feel like places like this just because it's Sorry, my phone keeps going off. Places like Port St. Joe, since it's such an old town and it has like older people, I try to pull my camera and they're like, what is this weirdo doing with a vlog camera? So it's hard for me to vlog in public here because I feel like everyone's just staring at me and I like 
still get kind of embarrassed to vlog in public. It's the weirdest thing because you would think that since I've been doing it for four years, I would not be like that, but I totally am. I'm like, oh my God, people are staring at me. I have a camera. Like, I always like hate when people ask like, what do you have a camera for? And I'm just like, it's just like weird. I'm excited because my friend Jenny is coming into town tomorrow for the weekend. So it'll be really fun to see her and hang out with her. I'm excited to have her here and just like hang out. I haven't got to see her in a long time and it'll be nice just to have like a few days to hang out with her. So I'm gonna prep and get all my work done today so then tomorrow I can kind of just take like a long weekend and just like hang out and relax and chill while she's here. I just got a bunch of Revolve stuff in the mail and some of it is from gifting and some of it is just some things that I picked out. So I wanted to give you guys a haul. I feel like I haven't done a big Revolve haul in a really long time and my mom's sitting here and she's like, <laughs> She's very excited to see what's in the package. From the brand Year of Ours, I got a size medium. I think it was the last one. I think I probably would have preferred a small, but I'm really obsessed with like any type of tennis set or like any athleisure. So I'll link like a few similar things like this, but I need to try it on because it does look a little bit big. It's like a little cream color. There was a matching skirt. Look how cute this is. And this I got in a small, so this will definitely fit. Isn't that cute, Mom? Mom, you can talk. I want that! <laughs> it has built-in shorts. How cute is that? I love the thick band. Yep. Okay, love. This really cute little tee from Free People. Look at how cute that is. What do you rate this? Uh, okay. Danny, you're gonna rate every piece we pull out. Oh, oh, I know. One to 10. 14. 14? Okay, this is definitely a keep. I got this in a size small and it's the cutest little top. This would be really cute if you guys are in college for going out top. What's going on with the lighting? Going out top, dinner, just like a cute casual I think cute jeans with a pair of cowboy boots. Oh yeah, cute for a concert. And I think yeah. there's only $58 for a free people tee. I feel like that's oh, yeah. not bad. And I got a size small. I ordered a pair of Allie Grace Denim, which is really exciting. She now sells on Revolve, but her sizes are always like mostly sold out. But I had ordered a pair of these before. I have a few pair of her denim and I'm obsessed with it. And I ordered a size 27 because I'm normally a 26 or 27 in denim. And they were really small, so I had to wait for a 28 to come back in stock. But these are the Kelsey Baggy Jean. And they look like they're gonna be like a perfect fit. I love the wash of them. And they're just like a straight down. Cute. Aren't these cute? I think that I'm gonna try them on top of my shorts. Really cute. I hope that they fit because I've waited like so long. Oh yeah, see, they're still even kind of small. These are 28. You can't get them any bigger. They're gonna look too big. You have a skirt on there. Oh yeah, I have shorts on. Yeah, there. they're gonna be perfect. You sure? Yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. tight on the stomach. Definitely size up in her jeans. I don't know why lately I feel like they're running really small. Below the belt has the best belts. I have a belt from them, this exact one actually, in black and brown. Or black with silver and black with gold, and I really liked this tan color. I get a size small, and it's just a really good belt. Okay. I'm so excited for fall fashion. Why? I, I just love fall clothes. Yeah. But here you can't wear anything uh, I literally, I, I don't even know why I have clothes. Right. You cannot wear fall clothes. I mean, I can't even put on shorts and a t-shirt. Okay. I live in a swimsuit for the last, I can't tell you. Oh, I got this cool collab of sunglasses. I don't know how you say this brand, but I really love their stuff. A cool collab, and I liked these glasses because the side of them are like different than what I have. Rue, what are you doing? I'm watching. But these could look really ugly on, so who knows. They remind me of the Bottega square ones that I always oh, wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love like a square lens. Oh, I love the white. And there's white on the side. So cute. Are they cute? Yes. Oh yeah, these are really cute. Can really? you see my eyes though? No. Okay, I hate when you can see my eyes. So cute. Okay. Wow. All right. We got a meet, uh, free people sweater. I really like stripes right now. I think that stripes. Mm -hmm are in because yeah, I feel like I can't see them everywhere. Last year they were a little bit, and I think they still are. Free people sweater. Cute, right, with jeans for fall? With the little mules that I have. Yep, watch that can, okay. 
Okay, my memory card was full. We have pajama sets. I think I picked up like two or three pajama sets. The brand is Everj, and I've had their stuff before. I wear size medium, and I'm obsessed with the quality and the feel of these. If you're looking for like a nice quality pajama set, get yourself a pair of these. The shorts are like a good length too. They don't like go up your butt. So you can like walk around your house with your family. Cute. You know how like sometimes pajamas you can't like wear around like say yeah, dad. I know. We need to do those ones maybe for Christmas here. <laughs> they have pants. Pant options. So I got yellow and then I also got them. I got them in green. Yeah. And I got them in here because why? I just did a pajama clean out. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like wanting to get some new ones. You know how like after a few years they go yeah. bad? This pair I'm really excited about because they're ribbed. Oh, why cute. This is cute. These are my really favorite cute. pair, I think. Really cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute. Okay, so jammies. Really excited about this dress. I feel like it's such an easy throw-on outfit, especially because it stays hot in the south still for a long time. Oh, and I, I thought that. it could be cute for like a Vanderbilt game with flip-flops. Yep. On the model, it looks cuter. I'll insert a photo. But it just has like a really good cut to it. The brand is Citizen of Humanity. It reminds me of the tan one you wore. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, we have, oh, I got some new underwear. These are hanky pinkies. They're really nice underwear. I got some nipple covers for sheer stuff. Mine were just like not sticky anymore. And this is my favorite brand, the Nippy Skin. I get them in the medium shade. And I really like them. This free people sweater. What is in that box? <laughs> I got this free people sweater, which I really liked the color. Cute, right? What size did I get? Medium. I feel like free people runs really big. I always get like I feel larges oh, and stuff, okay. but mm -hmm. I always get medium and free people. Mm -hmm. Okay, Beckenbridge dress. This is one of my favorite brand dresses on Revolve. I saw a girl on TikTok wear this with black boots and I was like, that is so cute. Rodeo. Rodeo? I feel like this is way too fancy. <laughs> People would be like, who is that girl? You're gonna put boots on. No, like, fa like fancy know. black boots. I know exactly. Cute, right? Yeah. I got it a small, I hope it fits. Okay, last thing in the box. <laughs> this is a graphic tee. I feel like these are really nice to throw on with biker shorts if you're just like running around and I liked the logo on this. Jackson Hole Diamond Cross Ranch. And I think it was really affordable, like 40 bucks. And I got in a large. So that's my Revolve haul. <laughs> Do you like what I picked? Excellent. I have everything linked below for you guys, but I always have my Revolve favorites in the description and I also always put them in my bio on my Instagram. I also just started posting a ton to like to know it. So if you guys are ever looking for like an outfit or links to anything, there's like nine times out of 10 chance that it's on my like to know it. And I will start linking my like to know it in the description for you guys as well. So you can like have easy access to all my links and stuff. I started doing like a little styling series over on Instagram. I'm gonna try to do it like every other week just cause it is a little bit time consuming. And I'll like ask on my story how you want me to style you or like plans that you have or what you should wear to whatever. And then I like put together outfits. It's just like fun for me and a lot of you guys. I posted it like two days ago and a lot of you guys had really good feedback and really liked it. So I think we'll make that like an every other week thing. So make sure you guys are following me over on Instagram. That is so cute. Okay, we had one more thing in the box. This really cute set from a nine being has matching shorts. I got a medium shirt and a medium bottom and I'm obsessed with striped boxer shorts. Oh my God, look at the detailing. It says AB all over the shirt. Buy a lot of things that are just kind of like trending, but this I feel like is definitely an outfit that could be cute at all times. Like it doesn't go in, doesn't go out of style. It's just like a classic little set. But right now these striped boxer shorts are really in style. Yeah, very cute. Yeah, I love this. Okay, this is a yes. All right, time to clean the fan. <laughs> Those are bad dogs. You have to stay outside. You're bad dogs. Real? You bad dog? <laughs> huh? He's a bad dog. God, mom, that's disgusting. I don't know why it's gotten this bad. Like, why are you screaming? Oh, I didn't get. I don't know why it's that bad. Like, did I not 
did I not have it on? Do you guys you see it? Do you guys change your filters? Like if I didn't have this ladder stuff, like what would I do? You have to buy a ladder. Okay, you have that on. No, it's not on. Ew. Look at it. Oh. Is it coming down? No. Okay, good. But it's all that stuff. Yeah, I know. Looks like you're gonna break the fan. Uh, it's movable. I'm kidding, it is recording. <laughs> it is recording? <laughs> just woke up, I ate breakfast, I went to bed early last night and it was the best thing ever. I just slept for nine hours and I feel so good. Oh, it's pouring rain. I was about to go on a walk. <laughs> I had avocado toast, bacon, a little fruit smoothie and I just wanted to share before I liked it, my skincare and changed um, these pajamas. I slept in them last night and they are so good. I got a size medium, so I'll link them below. They have a lot of colors. I got literally three pair and obsessed with them. That's not rained in literally so long and every time guests come, I swear, I mean, I guess I'm a guest, but I've been here all month, so my chances of no rain are higher. Um, Emily and Jenny are on their way here and I'm like, of course it's supposed to rain all day, so hopefully it'll clear up. I'm not really sure what the plan is for today, but I'm gonna keep vlogging through today and wrap this vlog up today for you guys, but how'd you sleep? Do you sleep good? I think she's getting bigger, you guys. I feel like she's just absolutely huge. Like. This is the hallway and she's taking up almost the whole thing, like her length. Let me see a paw, love. It's like the size of my hand. Why you have the biggest paw I've ever seen? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Hi, baby. Winnie matches the hardwood perfectly. Don't ya? Okay, puppies, it's a big morning. <laughs> we have a surprise. <laughs> It's a surprise! Winnie and Rue don't know what BarkBox is, so they don't know. So Finn has been getting a BarkBox since she was a puppy. Okay, so they always do a theme, and it's so funny. This one is New York City, so it has... <laughs> so cute. It has the Chinese, Chinese famous dumplings. I bet that there's dumplings yes. in here. Oh. Yes. Okay. That's what they love. Wait, don't give them yet until I show. Oh. Okay, this is Lady Liberty Ball. Wait, you have to wait. <laughs> Look at the dumplings. Oh my god. And Winnie, there's three. Winnie's gonna love that, okay? And then there's... It's a little baby treat. Two things of treats. You should probably change to the adult because no. these are for ki baby. I know, but I like them. They're perfect for them. I guess That's it what, says four dogs. Oh, one there we go. Ready? Go. Two. Three. Oh, Mom, you have to take the plastic off. It's New York! New York City! <laughs> We go to Chinatown. They don't. They're not very excited about New York. Winnie's confused. <laughs> Winnie, want treats? These are all the options. They could have gotten the taxi. That would have been so cute. Or the pretzel. Those are upgrades. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, sit. What's up? Oh, we got on. We got on the blue shirt today. I heard that you finished your Lego, and I wanted to come see it. Can you show them? Look at that, Danny. You did such a good job. Was it, <laughs> was it hard to do? Was it hard? You're very smart. I'm very proud of you for doing that. It's very cool. Did you also make this one? A long time ago, come on. Wow, a long time ago? We made all of these. And maybe Michael helped me. Michael helped you? No? What? What are you doing on your laptop work? I base. Are you working? Base. Base. No, Michael helped me. Danny, are you working? No, no, no. 
<laughs> what, are you, <laughs> what are you looking up? Video games? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> You put a to me. Are you excited Jenny and Emily are coming? Yeah, maybe. <laughs>